I'm Carla from Azteca, and this is your Margarita Minute. Today, we're going to make the Ramos Rita. It's our signature margarita for Azteca Mexican restaurants. It's made with 1800 Reposado and Gran Gala. We start with fresh lime, house tequila, triple sec, sweet and sour. We top it off with Gran Gala, orange liqueur, 1800 Reposado, so roasted, smoky flavored tequila. Enjoy. Si, senor. Join us at any of our three Spokane Aztecas. Downtown, Spokane Valley, and North Point Azteca. Serving the best Mexican food. I'm Carla, and this Azteca. has been your Margarita Minute. La Fiesta. Come to Azteca tonight. Welcome back to In La Cocina in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Mike Gonzalez. We are back in North Idaho in the cookwithus.com kitchen. We got a great recipe for you today. I know you're going to love it. It's chilies and walnut sauce. Chilies and nogada. Nogada is walnut in Spanish. That's my one Spanish lesson for the day. And this is a stuffed poblano that you see right here. And it is filled with savory, fruity, meat filling. Man, this is so good. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. And we've got this creamy walnut sauce that just kind of flows right over the top. And then it's topped with this citrusy pomegranate seed. So not only is it tasty, it is healthy. And you're going to impress your friends with this one. Let's take a look at what's in the ingredients. I think the cool thing about this particular recipe, designed in 1821 to commemorate the Mexican flag, and when you look at the colors of, we're talking the pomegranates here, check this out, apples, pears, we've got our poblano chilies, raisins, almonds, a uh, little bit of cinnamon in this, onions, ancho chilies, which are essentially just dried poblanos. So you got a lot going on in here, we've got our ground pork or ground roast beef a little bit of time so there's so many good flavors and when you mix them all up and you cook them oh man you're gonna be like oh this is absolutely amazing so let's get started all right I've got my ground pork my ground beef we're cooking her up first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our onions along with our garlic into our pan and this is going to really bring out the flavor, enhance that flavor a little bit. I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes before you put anything else in. And then we've got our garlic cloves over here that I'm grinding up, grinding up in my mocajeta. I love the mocajeta. This is really the traditional way that they grind things up in Mexico. And it's just fun for the kids. This is something you can kind of do if the kids are bored, you tell them, you know what, grind me up some cloves. And you can get one of these things, check this out. All right, Michoacan, which is on uh, Sprague and University in the Valley. Uh, you can also get them over at Deleon's, and you know, you can get them online as well, depending on if you don't want to go out shopping. But these are just really a traditional way, so we're going to throw a pinch of that in there as well. We're going to throw some salt in here, salt it to taste. Get yourself a big pinch of salt. some of our cloves up in here. I got some big fat fingers so I can work that thing right. All right, let's get the rest of these ingredients in. We've got our chopped almonds, the ancho chili powder that we told you about, and you want to impress your friends, you can say, you know, you know what an ancho chili is? It's just, it's just a poblano that's dried and all chopped up. And like, Ooh, where'd you learn that? You can say right here on In La Cocina. Um, here's a cinnamon stick that we throw in this what you do you just kind of leave it there it doesn't really melt it just sort of infuses the flavor so um, that's something about that that you'll you'll taste it at the end you'll go oh man yeah that's what that is I got our raisins which you can kind of spread all around that'll give it some texture our thyme and then we get to our fruits which this is two apples that we've chopped up as well as a half a pear. And then we've got our apple cider vinegar. This is about a quarter cup. And you can see how all these flavors really infuse together and kind of bring a savory, fruity 
taste that's gonna be so good, especially when we add that cream. So let's go to our next step. Our meat is cooking, and I gotta tell you, this is the hardest part for me, because this is when guys get in trouble, you know, when you're like, huh? And your girlfriend catches you, or your wife catches you, ah, stay out of the meat! You know, that's how I am. All right, I digress. All right, <laughs> let's, get, let's get to our whipping cream here. We've got our crema mexicana, and if you, you can't find this in the store, you know, uh, in the Inland Northwest, you can find it at uh, La Michoacana, De Leon's again. Um, those are kind of our go-to stores here. Um, but you can also use whipping cream, put a little bit of sour cream, and it kind of gives it the same texture and, and flavor. But you can see, see how light and whipped this is. You just kind of whip it around. And once you get it kind of light, fluffy, and creamy, you're ready to deal with what we're going to put in our Cuisinart. Our walnuts a little bit of salt, we've got a little bit of brandy here, and then we've got our cinnamon, which again, we're gonna fold into this cream. So let's head over to the Cuisinart with these ingredients and mix her up. Our Cuisinart has done a great job, and what we're gonna use is the folding technique, and basically, uh, what this is, you ain't slapping it in there, guys. I know how y'all work out there, because I used to do it too. You just go, just kinda nice and gently, you fold it around. Assistant, so things aren't smacking around and uh, nice and gently. We are coming down the home stretch. We're seeing la luz at the end of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel. We're stuffing the poblanos. And I love stuff. This is probably my favorite part. Take, give yourself a healthy scoop right here. And what we've done, and you've seen this technique on uh, the show before. We're basically just cutting, we cut the poblanos in half. We take out the chilies. And remember, this this recipe is all about the Mexican flag. Remember the colors, and we're gonna cover this all up. And then here is where you're really gonna get your cover. So you got the green, your white, your red, your pomegranates. And you can smother that in your sauce and your pomegranates. All right, there we go. Let's get a tight shot of this. I mean, this is all the colors of the Mexican flag. Remember, we told you about the history of this a little bit. 1821, this commemorated the red, the white, the green, all in the, the banda mexicano. And it's time to eat my favorite part. And I have to tell you what, this, this has been one of my favorite recipes that we've created here at Cook With Us. It's kind of like the perfect combination of fruitiness, creaminess, meatiness. So I think... I think it's everything that you want. There's nothing missing and there's kind of something for everybody. So with that being said, it's time to eat. Oh man, I love it. It's even got the texture that I love with the walnuts and the almonds. So good. You want this recipe? Go to our website, hispanicfoodnetwork.com or you can go to cookwithus.com. Absolutely awesome. Enjoy it. Adios, everybody.